Today we are going to make carnitas, probably my favorite meat to put in a taco. It's made by slowly braising pork shoulder with spices and then searing it off in a skillet. I will take about six to eight pounds pork shoulder, rub it down with salt, pepper, paprika, chili powder, and cumin. I will slice an onion, one head of garlic, and an orange, put it in the bottom of a crock pot. And then I will sear off on two sides that pork. Uh, make sure you get a nice crust on it because it will really help the flavor as, that, as it cooks. As soon as it's seared off on two sides, into the crock pot it goes. Um, you want to batch it if you're doing a lot of pork. More than, uh, more than three pounds or so in the big skillet at a time, you'll be steaming your meat instead of browning it. When it's browned, lid it six hours on high and it will be fall apart soft. You can see all the moisture that's come out of that meat. There's no need to add water. About a quarter of that liquid will be fat, rendered fat from the pork shoulder and the rest of it will be broth. I like to spoon a little bit of that rendered fat over, over the meat in the skillet so it gets nice and crisp. Once you've got a uh, good color developed on every piece of that, you can transfer it over into a bowl and do the next batch. You always want to make sure when cooking in a skillet uh, not to overload it. Um, moisture is your enemy when it comes to browning. It will keep you from developing that color and that flavor. So again, a little bit of fat. You can see how soft that meat is. I press it down to get maximum contact and a lot of browning on those edges. As soon as it's done, I sprinkle a little bit of lime over it. Be sure to keep an eye on your cameraman or woman. They may try and sneak in an unauthorized sample. Make some fresh tortillas, very easy. Masa, corn flour, and uh, some water. Do a fresh salsa, just dice up some peppers, uh, bell peppers, jalapenos, onion, tomato, lime, a little bit of cilantro and garlic, and you are ready to go. Get the full recipe on mankitchen.com.